While, while Toyota goes to great lengths to brag that TNGA was tuned at the Nürburgring, any legitimate sportiness is second to style, utility, and amenities in this segment. To that end, the CHR's dash features a 7.0-inch multimedia screen and a 4.2-inch multifunction display between the gauges, and on XLE models, there's a leather-wrapped steering wheel, power folding and heated exterior mirrors, an auto-dimming interior mirror, and dual-zone climate control. The XLE Premium adds blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, heated front seats, a power driver's seat, and puddle lamps that project Toyota CHR onto the ground. Fog lamps and keyless start are also part of the XLE Premium package, while both trim levels get AM-FM-HD radio, Harmonza hat, a USB port and an OJAC, Bluetooth, voice recognition, and a 60-40 split folding rear seat. Style, however, is the CHR's real calling card. Whatever one thinks of the new little Ute Coupe, it certainly has been styled by people concerned with adding styling to it. According to Toyota, the mission brief was a mere two words, distinctive diamond. Whatever the directions handed to the styling people, the result looks like the incredible Hulk about to bulge his way out of his shirt. With 18-inch wheels. And some cybernetic stuff. Bulging Borg Hulk? But small scale. And, lest you forget, a coupe. Small Borg Hulk coupe. SBHC isn't a lamer name than CHR, is it? We suppose the trademark stuff would get complicated, potentially as complicated as the CHR's aesthetics. Toyota does point out that the rear wing is functional. View photos? All grades of CHR are equipped with the forward <laughs>